Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We have some brand new information because of a card design that has been added to the code that footies might be starting sooner than we think. The card design is actually in the game right now. It is called a special item, but what that is to me is a footies card design, but not the actual footies card design. It might be a footies voting card design. So I want to take a look at that in today's video and talk about the potential of maybe even the voting starting today or tomorrow before Friday when footies is expected to start. We have no leaks still, but we do have this card design that's been added here, which makes us think that it's probably going to be starting Friday like we've expected. So we're going to talk more about that and about footies voting in general, kind of what to expect and also what to expect today on Wednesday our content's been really, really slow, and we even have a Phantom SBC that has been released, and it's in concepts. The Angel Correa Moments SBC is nowhere to be found in the game, but he's all over Footbin. He's in concepts on the game. We are very confused. So I want to take a look at that, and of course, if Footy is actually going to start, there might be some market impact, so we'll talk about all that and more in today's video. If you're excited for Footies, hit the thumbs up on the video, and of course, subscribe if you're new. And let's take a look at this card design once again. Now, it's added into the game, but it's also been added to the code, right? Obviously, those two things go hand in hand. Sometimes it's added to the code and then doesn't drop in the game just yet. But here it is. It's showing inside of the transfer market search. And it was because of this tweet a couple hours ago um, from Foot Scoreboard showing that this new card design has been added. It got me thinking. This is something that we have actually talked about in the past couple of days saying, I was thinking that, hey, if they were to start footies a couple days early, I wouldn't be surprised because one thing that always comes with the footies promo is voting, right? We get a player pick where we get to vote for a card, and then the player that has the most votes out of however many players from the player pick gets chosen for a boosted SPC. Now, this is why I think this is not the actual footies card design and a footies voting card design instead, because take a look at last year. This is the 88 rated Conte that we had last year that was a player pick, right? You got him as a loan, you chose him, and then he won his vote. So we got this 99 rated card. As you can tell, very different card design. This one looks more official. This one looks more of like a voting card design, right? And this is something that we've seen oftentimes in, in previous years as well, and even earlier this year, when they drop like the TOTS moments or the team of the year moments, they always kind of have this like border around the edge and they just don't look as nice of a car design. I would obviously say the 99 looks way better as a car design, 100%. I think most of you guys would agree. So this one to me is not the final footies design. It's 100% the vote. And that's why I think if this being added to the code on a late Tuesday night heading into a Wednesday, this makes me think that we might have a in-game message about footies today with a legit vote, right? Because oftentimes when they drop votes like this too, they give us a couple of days to choose and then they release the winner of the SBC. This is how the voting went last year in FIBA 21. It says for 24 hours on select days. So last year it was actually 24 hours. I know that in years prior it's been 48. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow on Thursday. That's why we're uncertain. Or if this might even start on Friday and this is just EA adding it in early, uh, we don't know what the time frame is going to be, but this has really got me thinking about footies voting coming early because of how early they've added this card design. But players will find a player pick pack available in their account upon login. Each player pick will showcase a loan version. The player you select will receive your vote. The footies, footies nominee that receives the most votes will be released via an SBC as an upgraded footies item in that week. And then also last year, the nominees that failed to win will be considered footy, footy's close call player SBCs towards the end of the campaign. And those are some pretty nice SBCs as well. So just because, and this is just something to kind of remember, as we have voting happen throughout the next couple of weeks during footies, when the promo gets rolling, if there's a player that loses in the voting, if they do this again like they did last year, he might not be not getting a card, might get one later on down the line. Now, we have one leak, and a lot of people skipped over this last week. This leak right here is actually very forth telling about a potential footies voting that could happen as early as today. Like I'm saying on Wednesday, it could be dropping in the game today. This is what Foot Sheriff tweeted about footies. He said, everyone will receive a player pick with three footies nominees to come as an SBC. The first vote should be based upon a five-star weak foot and two of those players out of three in the vote will end up getting an SBC 
after the final count of the votes. That's incredible, right? It's always been just one player, whether it's been a one of two player pick like it was last year. As it says here, each player pick will contain two lone versions. This year, it seems like it's going to contain three versions, but instead of just one winner, we are going to get two winners according to this leak right here. And that's pretty sick. I'm a huge fan of that. He also says the first vote is based around a five-star weak foot. So you can even start to dream and think about a little bit. What is a card that we haven't had a shape? I would be, I'd be very surprised if somebody got a shape shifters and then a, a footies, but maybe somebody who has a tots or hasn't had a special card in a long time that always has issues with their weak foot not being good enough. What is a card that could be involved in this footies voting? You may have seen him, seen him on the thumbnail. One card that stuck out to me right away that came to my mind was this Jelson Martins, right? Even this 92 rated five-star skill, three-star weak foot, um, foot fantasy card, he does not have much more than, he's got a three-star weak foot, right? This would be a perfect card for EA to put in footies, and this would be a card that would get a lot of hype. I really hope that EA put this guy in the vote. That was just one card that I thought of right away. Let me know down in the comments who you think this might be for. And again, I just want to say this again. We could see a voting for whoever this five-star weak foot players are going to be. This might drop today. I'm not guaranteeing it to drop today. I really don't know. But between today and tomorrow, since this um, game has is already showing the special item, aka the footies voting car design in the game. I just think it could be coming today or tomorrow. So that's just kind of my thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments because seriously, this is a lot of speculation here. This nothing confirmed except for a car design is confirmed to be added, and that, that to me looks like the voting. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Now, also, if they're gonna drop voting today, like a little message in game, I could see that happening. I would also imagine that they could drop some sort of loading screen and that's something that we've been looking for for the past couple of days on this game especially for a lot of you guys that have been waiting for the market to maybe cool off and to maybe drop off a little bit that's something that we have 100 percent been waiting for to see is a little bit more panic selling because of everything related to footies right we saw it last week when footies was first leaked early ahead of time when it probably shouldn't have been um we saw panic selling i think that there's probably going to be more of that. Wow. Look at El Sharawi, man. El Sharawi's 300k plus at the moment. Some cards have slightly rebounded back even further from where they were on the weekend. Just a couple cards. Not everything. How's Neymar doing? We'll take a look at him. Uh, but I think that if we do get a loading screen today, if we do get a footies vote, then that would probably push cards on the market lower and that would get people back in the, oh my goodness, footies is about to be here type of, of mind frame. And type of mindset, I guess, is the real word we want to use there. Mindset, getting ready for this promo Friday. Now, some of that panic selling might not be warranted. Like, some of the cards that get panic sold in the next two to three days, if there is a lot more selling, they're pro some of them are going to bounce back over the weekend. Some of them are also going to drop way, way lower. It really just all depends on what EA does with packs, and that's the uncertainty and the unknown. So, I would rather be in the vote where... You maybe sell a card and you risk it maybe going back up a little bit on the weekend, uh, depending on what else happens. Maybe it's a brand new Shapeshifters card. I really doubt that they would release any Shapeshifters back into packs with like a batch one of uh, footies coming out on Friday, re-release cards in packs. I would be shocked if there was either, like any Shapeshifter cards in it because in previous years, batch one has always been some of the lower tier cards from previous promos earlier on in the year. And it's a little bit dead, I can't lie, except the fodder is exceptional. So we'll talk more about that tomorrow once we maybe get some more information about what footies could look like and some more confirmation on that. But again, watch out for voting today and a loading screen. I think that is very, very possible. Let's go back to yesterday for just a second and talk about what's going on with his Angel Correa because many of you guys are probably looking at Footbin and you're, not, you're like, Nate, what is going on with this Angel Correa moments card? Everybody wants to know where it is. Where is this dude at? Well, he's in the game. He even has a dynamic image in the game right here. An Angel Correa with a five-star weak foot. His card is actually in FIFA, but for some reason, there is no SBC. You may have seen like a squad. Um, you know, when you load into FIFA, sometimes you have to uh, do these updates, right? A squad update. I had like two or three of those today. I don't know what is going on with EA, what's going on with this game and with this SBC in particular. He did get a five-star weak foot upgrade. We even see the exact card with the dynamic image and the exact stats. 
but there is no SBC that is leaked. And I think, or not even dropped, not leaked, just dropped in the game. I think people are a little underwhelmed by this card since he didn't get the five-star skills. And, you know, some of the stats are maybe just slightly less than what we'd expect at this game. Still a, a good card, but I think it would have to be pretty cheap. So if you're wondering why in the world this card is at the top of Footbin right now, and you're like, what is going on? Where is this card at? We have no idea. EA has not tweeted about it. They have not said anything about whatever issue this is. Uh, so maybe he'll be dropped in the game today. We don't know. That's just a really puzzling situation at the moment. We have a mystery on Hill Correa that is in the game. So that was that. Now, yesterday's content was pretty, it was pretty quiet. There was one nice part about content though, that, you know, even if you don't play a lot of games, you can get some pretty good packs with a very small amount of grind with this goal fest objective in the milestones tab there were no tokens dropped yesterday a lot of them dropped on monday of course no tokens through this but just a lot of packs and that the end reward is an 85 plus times five guys you can do this in three games beginner squad battles you can do outside the box finesse shots you can score 10 goals per game 20 goals per game and you can end up getting all of these objectives done. There were people on stream today uh, while we were live streaming after this first came out on Twitch. Link down below in the description, by the way, if you've never come through, it's a great time. Cheeky plug. Um, there were people getting this done in like two to three games, like 50 minutes, one hour, three games later. People had all of this completed. It's very easy since it's in any foot game mode. Big fan of this. So even though it takes a little bit of a grind, three games to get all these packs, some pretty nice player picks. And an 85 times five, that's a really easy grind. So GG's to EA Sports were dropping that yesterday. But other than that, it was a very, very quiet day of content on the game yesterday. A lot of the market really didn't move too much. I did buy a couple of Betty Pelés just because I wanted to try to flip him. He bounced, uh, he was up at like 1.6 yesterday. Right now he's like 1.4, 1.54. So I'm hoping that this guy can go back to 1.6 and I can take a small profit there. I think people started using that card and realizing how insane he is because he's ridiculously cracked. Um, and I, I think that's maybe what's pushed his price up a little bit. But I do think today on Wednesday, let's focus back in on today. I would imagine that they have to drop some other sort of pack, right? Wednesdays have been our 93 plus tots or shapeshifter pack. And I think, you know, if EA want to continue the trend, that is probably going to drop today. And I would assume that they could include team four in that pack as well. So 93 plus tots with shapeshifters team one, two, three, and four all available in the player pick. That might be dropping today. We will have to see. If it does in that case, that's going to be the most hype piece of content. And I think that you would see a little bit more of a rise on fodder. You would also see probably lightning rounds, right? Wednesdays are a day where they drop the lightning rounds, like the 85 plus, the 84 trio, those sort of lightning rounds they usually drop on today uh, in the game. So you might have a little bit of extra supply, but that's a lot of demand as well for like a 93 plus pack. And the 85 times five is being re-released again today so your 84s did go over 4,000 coins yesterday which was nice your 85s continue to go up slowly 86 is up just a little bit a 93 plus today player pick would help out some of your mid to high tier fodder and i think it would help out your 84s and 85s a little bit as well because i think that sbc last time was like an 86 and an 88 squad or something like that somewhere around there so hopefully that would make some of your 84s to 89s, maybe even 90s go up just a little bit. 90s are pretty low. 30K is really cheap. I don't know if it's going to be a big rise today on the higher tier, but if they do drop an 88 rated squad in that SBC, then you might see a quick uptick on guys like Kane, Neuer, Ter Stegen, De Bruyne. But really, I think what I would do with the higher rated guys like this, I would look to take the money because, again, we're going to have a lot more cards that are higher rated re-released back into packs in one of the, the first batch of re-released footies cards probably this fr this Friday. So that high tier, just kind of like what happened during team of the season, right? That high tier fodder market really dropped off because there were so many more cards getting supplied at that higher rating and it made the rest of those go down. So the low tier fodder, that's why I still like it the best. I think it can go up a little bit more today. I think all fodder could go up a bit if the content is good, but it's been a pretty dry week. So we'll see if EA wants to turn it around and it drop at least a decent SBC today on this game. So that's the big question for today though. It really, I think what is gonna, the hype on FIFA today and with just the way the market moves, there's two things that it depends upon. Number one is this vote. This footies car design that is in here, A, are we getting voting today? And B, are they going to drop a loading screen? Those two things 
out of part one that I just mentioned, I think are really crucial for a lot of the market because if you see both voting and a loading screen today, I think people would more st start to get into footies mode and we're gonna start to get excited about footies actually starting, which we still expect, but now that it's getting closer and closer, we actually start to feel the hype a little bit more and that could result in some market movements. And then B, I think it's with the SBCs once again, it's been a very quiet week, the quietest week of shapeshifters yet, 100%. Um, if that 93 plus does come today, that's been an SBC people have come to expect and want to see every single week. And if that does drop, then I think there'll be a decent amount of hype for that in the game, uh, as well as probably another Shapeshifters Challenge SBC. Since this one is going away, I would imagine they would drop another SBC token. Since those kind of seem few and far between, um, I think we are up to like 37. I'd have to take a look for sure. Let me see how many swap tokens we're up to at the moment. We are up to... 38. Okay, I missed one. We are up to 38 swap tokens. Shout out to EA for dropping eight on Monday and then not dropping any since then. So make sure either Silver Stars as well. Oh yeah, Silver Stars. If you haven't got the Silver Stars token or the Shapeshifter Challenge 14, make sure you snag those if you need to get them before they expire today. Those are two of the expiring. And then of course you have all eight for Monday, but I would really expect to see another token today on Wednesday so that we can keep trucking along here. We have to get to like 40 by at least the end of this week, EA. Come on. You're going to drop another eight next Monday probably, right? Well, at least drop a couple during the week this week so that we can try to get our tokens done before next Friday when all this stuff expires and Summer Swaps is over. I think that'd be very important and helpful uh, for a lot of us grinding tokens, like including myself. I want the fodder packs, man. I want to get my fodder packs ready and loaded to open either this week of footies. Maybe I'll open one or two of these this week and then save one or two of them for one of the later weeks as well. We'll have to see how that all kind of plays out. But the, I got my fodder packs ready to go. I need to, just a few more tokens and I will submit those and be ready to pack a lot of fodder during this next promo. So today on Wednesday, again, it's all going to come down to is EA going to start incorporating footies? Keep an eye on Foot Sheriff's Twitter because if he starts tweeting stuff out about the vote, uh, I think that could be very important and that could start moving the market as well. But again, the biggest information is footies voting. Get ready for it. Get excited for it. And let, let your imagination, you know, have some fun. Like there, there's going to be great footies items. EA literally does not disappoint with this promo in terms of the SBC and objective players. I don't think they ever have. At least they haven't disappointed big time. It's always been pretty solid or insane. Either between those two, it's been great or insane. So I think that trend is going to continue. That is why I'm excited for footies. So let me know again down in the comments who you would maybe hope to see for a five-star weak foot upgrade. You know, it might be a little crazy to say somebody like Di Maria, who just got an end of an era, somebody like that, or Gareth Bale. Those are two actually <laughs> two pretty big cards that never have really good weak foot upgrades, which they both just kind of did, except for Di Maria didn't for his end of an era, but Bale did. So drop me some more, you know, comments down below what you think uh, who would be great choices for that if you're excited for footies though hit the thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new i'm excited to see what happens today again cheeky plug once again twitch.tv slash the foot account link down below we'll be covering it all as it drops today at 6 p.m and maybe even a little bit earlier we'll see what they're gonna do maybe some leaks and stuff like that but if you did enjoy the video today i appreciate your support thank you so much for watching all the videos on the channel it's been nate foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace